single story commercial building with a lightweight truss roof. Let's take a look at how to ventilate this building. Place an indicator hole along your path of travel. This will allow the ventilation crew to monitor interior fire conditions. Sanding is critical to fill for any sponginess of the roof when leaving the exterior wall. Make sure once construction members are found that all members stay on them. Keep in mind when walking out on a lightweight truss, failure can happen in less than five minutes when it is exposed to fire. An inspection cut is vital for member direction, construction type, and most importantly, safety. The sewer will cut 45 degrees to an exterior wall, rolling one member when felt. Then perform a head cut to locate the same member if felt. If that member is not felt, the construction type is perpendicular going left to right. Here is a 7L center rafter louver on a lightweight truss. The sawyer begins by cutting with the top of the bar, finding the first rafter. The saw will then change direction, rolling one rafter and stopping at the next. The sawyer will then perform a parallel cut to form a 7. A second parallel cut is next, followed by the base cut rolling one rafter. This forms the L. Let's watch our crew perform a 7L center rafter louver. Notice the foot alignment is in line with the rafters. This increases your chances of standing on a sound member and aligning your proper cut. A center rafter louver will work for almost all styles of conventional construction. Start small with a single panel and expand it if needed. Expanding the ventilation hole can be accomplished by cutting with construction. Once the initial ventilation hole is in place, extend one parallel cut. Now extend the opposite parallel cut and finish with a base cut rolling one rafter. Let's watch this crew extend with construction. Extending with construction is typically quicker due to less cuts. Now let's expand a center rafter louver against construction. Once you have a ventilation hole in place, you will start by using a head cut rolling one rafter, and now make your parallel cut. On the opposite side, input a parallel cut followed by a base cut rolling one rafter. Watch as this crew extends against construction. Switch hands whenever necessary to avoid stepping into a pre-existing hole. Extending a ventilation hole should always be done working towards your egress. Trenching this construction style is similar to conventional flat as far as layout. We'll be demonstrating the 7 and L technique with construction. The first sawyer must reach past the first truss to make the head cut. Trusses on this construction typically run two feet on center. The head cut should run approximately 8 feet prior to making the first parallel cut. The second sir will start with a parallel cut followed by a base cut. The second sir will input parallel cuts every 4 feet. The second sawyer is going to complete the L with a parallel cut and a base cut every 4 feet. Here's a ventilation crew demonstrating a trench cut off of a truss. The ventilation crew will typically be working off of a truss due to the ability of lightweight trusses being the only member to stand on. When working off of the truss, the crew will be working with construction. The trench should be finished prior to the fire reaching it. 